we have the finance bill. Now let me tell leaders ambaye wanaongea cross purpose. It is only we are not taking time to realize our nanji what is happening. Tunuachia watu ya opposition na Twitter wapiga kelele. We are coming to explain to the people why we must collect money to build their roads, to do their water. And the people will understand that they have started understanding. Wale ambaye wanasema finance bill ni mbaya ni ile watu ya azimio. Mimi nimeuliza magovernor juzi. Wewe governor hata kama uko pande ya azimio uko na serikali. Unataka pesa kutoka kwa serikali kuu from national treasury. Yule na ila unafuata hana serikali yeyote. Yule Kalonzo hana serikali yeyote. Yule Mother Karoa hii msichana wetu hapa Kirinyaga hana serikali yeyote. So wanamwambia mupinge. Nyinyi we owe you money for three months which we have not paid you because we don't have the money. We must collect it from somewhere. So wewe ukiwa governor unasimama kupinga. Ati umeambiwa na Raila na Mother Karoa Kalonzo na hao hana serikali yeyote. Kazi yao ni kupiga kelele. But hakuna mtu nauliza hao mshahara, hakuna mtu nauliza hao barabara, hakuna mtu nauliza hao chochote, alafu wewe unafuata yeye. Sasa utafuata mtu ambaye hakuna mtu nadai yeye chochote. Na wewe uko na serikali. We owe these governors 94 billion which they need to pay salaries, to build roads, to buy drugs in hospitals. If we don't collect this money and the law says the money will be paid by Kenyans. That is the law. Tusipochukua hiyo pesa, pesa tutatolea jinyi wapi? I am very happy that the leadership especially of this region where we come from is all aligned. Let us support the finance bill, let us support the housing fund because watoto wetu tunasomesha wanatoka kwa shule hawana kazi. Mafundi wako wanashida pale kwa river wanangoja the whole housing thing has two components the lesser component is getting houses for kenyans to stop living in slums that need is about 30% but the whole component of housing 70% is to create employment for our young people so that they have work to do so as we ukipinga na kwa kwa constituency kumejaa vijana hawana kazi tunataka kuwatafutia kazi na hao vijana hakuna mtu anawaambia watakatwa chochote kwa sababu hana mshahara so we are even telling wananchi hawa ya kawaida don't bother about hii watu napiga kelele wewe hakuna mtu anakukata pesa kwa sababu huna kazi si kutapata kazi ndio utakatwa so utapiga kelele wakati hiyo but for now si wacha tukutafutie kazi upate kukatwa si ndio yeah It is the leaders who don't want to pay. Na lazima hii watu walipe hii watu yote wako na suti hapa wamekaa hapa. Kawera you must pay. Lazima. Kaduri, lazima. Hata mimi niko pale. Hii vijana wetu watatoa kazi wapi kama hatutegenezi fund ya kuwasaidia. But I can tell you this incitement will come to an end. When we successfully pass a bill and it is enacted and implemented. Hao mahazo na waona hakuna mtu wako na shughuli na hawa. Watawachana na hiyo maneno. So these people will be talking to trees. Lakini wenye kusumbua ni wale ambaye hawana any obligation to anybody. Because hii watu ya azimio hakuna mtu anauliza hao chochote. Labda wajuku yao and that one they can afford from their allowances. But kwa raia they have no obligation to anybody.